Okay, so I'm here to talk about something that, I, I don't know, I can't be the first person that's had this thought process, but I am hopefully won't be the last either, because I'm trying to make this a thing. I don't want to hear guilty pleasures anymore, because there is no movie that someone genuinely enjoys watching that they should feel guilty about. And that's my whole purpose here today. I'm going to show off some of my favorite comfort movies. That's what I'm going to start calling them. Actually, I've started this already over on other places, but I don't think I've ever shared my opinion here before. I think they should be called comfort films. Now, arguably, these are probably not good movies. I enjoy them, though. I enjoy sitting down, watching them, experiencing them, and a lot of it has to do with nostalgia or other reasons, but I would say the majority of these, these are nostalgic reasoning behind them. So I'm going to just dive into some of these. I'm curious what you guys think. Do you agree with these? Disagree? There is a whole litany of other movies that I could have added to this. I mean, the lists online are insane. They go on. I tried to keep away from like Underworld and Resident Evil, you know, right there. Where is it at? There. Even though those were on a lot of lists, I don't really consider those comfort films. I consider those just horror films that I enjoy. So, let's get into it. First, we've got Teen Wolf. I genuinely love this movie. This one's not as much as Teen Wolf 2. This one gets a lot of crap. I enjoyed them, and I love the fact that how they did these movies, how they went from Michael J. Fox to Jason Baton, and it was just like, oh, you just it just agree with that. That's okay. That's a thing. That's happened. Also, the Scream Factory release, gorgeous. Love these. These are both fun movies. This may be a little bit more not, you know, a comfort film as much as this one, but I still enjoy both of these. Ironically, when I was looking for those, I found another one that some of y'all may not have even heard about, but Teen Witch. Yeah, Teen Witch. A lot of this all goes to one dance scene musical number in the movie. <laughs> I just love it. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about, but either way, the, the film's just fun. All right, after that is one of my favorite Steelbook releases. Waterworld. This is just gorgeous. It's so simplistic. But I like Waterworld. I do. I think it's a fun movie. I would be interested to see what they did if they remade it at some point. Although I think this holds up really well. I think the casting choice was perfect. I think the story was interesting. Now we get into a little bit more of the comfort movie. Yeah. And if I lose some people for this one, <laughs> it is what it is. I enjoy them, and that's the whole point of these movies. We've got Twilight. <laughs> Look at that shiny. I honestly enjoy all of these. I've got a reason behind it. I'm not going to bore you, bore you guys with it now, but... I enjoy the whole series, not just the first one. I've also read the books and the novella. Again, this is one of the situations where the first movie isn't so much the issue people have as it's the second one. And I enjoy them both. Grease and Grease 2. I enjoy Grease 2 just as much as I enjoy Grease. Haven't watched Grease live. I, most of those live musicals I'm not a huge fan of. I prefer filmed musicals. But yeah, Grease 2's got some bangers when it comes... I just said bangers. Jeez. Fantastic music. Fun. But, yeah. Another one that's a huge one on these lists. But I had to include it because I enjoyed it. And Nostalgia. I like all four of these. I like Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, and Batman and Robin. Legitimately. Like, to sit down and just enjoy these movies. And maybe it's the camp. Maybe it's the age I was when it was released. But, I mean, when it comes down to it, it doesn't matter because I enjoy them. And I'm right. 
If you don't enjoy them, you're right. If you enjoy something else that I don't, you're still right. That's the subjectivity in film is the best because you can like something that I don't like and that's you are right. And I can like something you don't like and I'm right. Jingle all the way. I'm sorry. This is a classic. It's not, it shouldn't even be on this list. It's genuinely a classic. Oh, I just focused on the wrong spot. Fantastic movie. Christmas every year. However, not so much. Like, I know what they were trying, but they failed. Turbo Man, like I've, I showed off on a video before my life size, well, not life size, you know, actual 13 inch Turbo Man doll. Love it. It's amazing to me how many people don't know that this is a movie. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, fantastic. This was before the TV series that went on for what, eight seasons? It's right there actually. But I love this and the cast is fantastic. Luke Perry, Christy Swanson, Paul Rubens is in this. Um, what's his face? Uh, not Matt Damon. Oh my gosh, I just blanked anyways. Um, he's in it. Why can't I think of his name? Why am I, why am I blanking on like a Ben Affleck? Jeez. He's got like one scene in this where I guess he had a speaking line and they dubbed over his voice. I don't know why I couldn't think of Matt name or Ben Affleck's name. Now, I don't know about the second and third of this. I do have them, but I've not seen them. This, though, I love this. When it comes to shark movies, they're hit or miss for me. But this one, this had something special. If they make the Meg 2 R-rated, it could be up there with this. If they do it right. But yeah, there is a second and third one of this, and I haven't seen them yet. But I need to check those out at some point. Have a marathon of all three of them together. Before Nick Cage had the Nick cage assance, we got Con Air. Genuinely love this movie. Love it. This is like The Rock. Those two movies, a double feature of those two movies, love them. I don't know why Con Air kind of gets eh, sometimes, but Howard the Duck. I like Howard the Duck. I also like the Steelbook. It's really got a ton of different levels of embossing and... I know what this is. It's not, not a good movie, but it's fun. It's nostalgic. It's like Adventures in Babysitting for me. It's the time period when it came out. It's where I was in my life. I can't believe as a child, though, that is not a child-friendly movie. It's really not. Like Most of it is, but there are some scenes where I would love to see the MCU take the Marvel or take the Howard the Duck Easter eggs and turn that into an actual full-fledged movie. I don't want an animated movie. I want the CGI, which is animation. The CGI one that was in like the Guardians uh, post credit scene. Last but certainly not least, adore Mortal Kombat. The original Mortal Kombat. But I also like Annihilation. And that Steelbook is just awesome. I love how they did the two different logos, combined them in one. I like the newer one, but not as much as these. These are still one and two. And the, the new one was good, but not amazing. Anyways, this was just a pile that I randomly picked. I could probably do 10 more videos like this because I have a lot of movies like that that I love. That some people are just like, and, but I enjoy them. They're fun. What are your guys' thoughts? Like, what movies do you consider comfort films? Because we're not saying the other word anymore, right? Right? We're all on that team. We're going to go that way. Good. I'm glad we agree. So what do you guys consider a comfort film to you? Like, what's something that isn't highly rated, but is a movie that you just like? You just enjoy. You enjoy the experience of it. And I want to see some unique answers. I found a lot of re repeated answers on the internet. But, yeah. So anyways, if you guys want to do the whole like, follow, comment, ring the bell, like, thumbs up, all that stuff. The more of that I get, the more views I get, the more likely I am to continue to make content over here. I want to make more content over here. I genuinely do. But this, this content takes more time and effort than other content. So 
Let me know what you guys think.